My name is Laana Rockty Wild, and in this episode, I work on my house in Delta Junction. I stain the logs and I mound the dirt around the house so that the water runs off and away from the house. I also continue to work on the road and drain it with a pump. And I put up a smokehouse, make dry meat, and um, winter arrives. Right here, I had to use a plasky to dig a canal and drain the water. I also um, got a pump and started it and was pumping the water out of this area. I pulled dirt out of the house area because it was too high for how I wanted the floor joists to hang down. Here's where I set up a pump and pumped the, the water out of this hole that an excavator dug for me. And that really helped to drain the road. Right here, I'm insulating the roof with two inch styrofoam. I'm cutting it into 16 inch slabs and shoving it up in there. This was the first thunderstorm I heard of the year. Progress on the house was uh, not as fast as I wanted because I was working like 10 hours a day. So I only worked on the house in the evenings and I continued to live in the wall tent. Right here I stained the lower logs before I put tarp on it, which is uh, more like ice shield is what I used.
This is the ice shield that I stapled onto the lower logs. After this ice shield was stapled up and the logs was stained, I mounded the dirt against the wall and slanted it away so that water won't drain into the foundation. I had to get the old stumps that I pulled out and chop all of the dirt off of it and use that to get enough dirt to mound along the edge of the house around the whole thing. This is the south side of the house that I'm going to put the ice shield on next and then use the Plaskian shovel to mound all of the dirt along the wall and slant it away so the water drains away from the foundation. Majority of the dirt that I'm using here is the dirt that I pulled from the middle of the house when I dug it open initially. Right here I'm finishing mounding the dirt on the south side of the house and then once I finished that I used stain to stain all of the rest of the logs on this side. Right here I stapled the ice shield onto the lower logs and then mounted the dirt along this ice shield. Then I stained the logs and uh, I also cut all of that excess insulation that was sticking out, that white insulation. While I continued to work on this house in Delta, I had a house in Fairbanks, Alaska that I needed to switch the fuel tank out. It was getting old and I wanted to sell this house. 
So right here I used a plasky to dig down about 10 feet and dig this huge 300 gallon fuel tank out of the ground and I used a tripod I made I made the tripod out of black spruce and winched this fuel tank out and then I bought a, another fuel tank to empty all the old fuel into it and then I bought a brand new fuel tank from Greer and dropped that one down in the ground. I worked on this house completely remodeling it, switching out the floor and repairing numerous um, things on it and even landscaping the yard and putting new gravel out there and I sold the house for 250000 I sold it in February, but majority of my work was on this house, so my progress on the Delta house slowed down. When I asked someone to do this, they quoted me at eight thousand dollars so i said no i can use a plasking shovel and do it myself and i bought the tank for 800 i'm glad i saved thousands of dollars and uh, my back's okay Right here I built a smokehouse and dried some moose meat that someone gave me. Made some good moose meat jerky. To dry moose meat I use rotten willows and rotten alder and rotten cottonwood trees. I don't use spruce trees because it gives it a bitter taste. Right here I trimmed all of the excess insulation sticking out on the front of the house and then I stained all of these logs and I also stained that front lumber and that's holding the roof up. Right here I boiled some moose meat with some fat. It tastes so good. Cooked over fire. I cook it over hardwood. I also don't cook on spruce. Right here I decided to stain the underside of the roof also. Make it look nice. And it'll last longer. Right here I put the tarp along the lower logs in the back of the house and then I used a plasky and a shovel to and I even used a chainsaw to cut some of the big chunks up and dig all of this dirt against the house and slant it so it pours away, drains away and I um, also stained these logs.
Here I stained the logs in the back of the house. Here I'm clearing the inside of the house out so I can get it ready to put the floor in. So uh, just to keep people on track, this is a 20 by 20 log cabin I built in Delta Junction. And I actually lived in it. There's still some work I need to do in the interior. And um, I'm posting videos of this project because I've never um, posted them before. And it's the first house I ever built. And I currently am building a, an 18 foot by 14 foot frame house in Fairbanks, Alaska. So the next uh, video I post will be uh, the current work I'm doing for the Fairbanks house which currently I got two of the walls standing and I need to get the other two walls up. This is a 300 uh, pound block of cement and I originally thought I needed two of them to get that ridge pole in, but I didn't. <laughs> Right here, I'm taking excess soil out so that when I put the floor in, it doesn't touch any of the ground. It's going to be hanging off of the floor joists. This is a pullover between Fairbanks and Delta, where I always like to stop and see the beautiful scenery. I was working 10 to 14 hour days while I was working on this house. And on the weekends, I would drive to Fairbanks to see my son. I wanted to cut these large tr hardwood trees right in front of my house. These are cottonwood trees because they might get uh, a good wind and hit my house when they blow down. I only left birch standing. And after I cut these down, I wanted to um, have the state uh, grant administrator come out and verify I did my work and pay me the 2400 that uh, I applied for that grant. My yard was really beautiful. I'm glad I cut all the spruce trees and left only birch trees. I loved it. I went on assignments in the fall time to California, working in the redwood forest, 
But um, after I returned, it was already winter time, and my tent got a lot of snow on it and kind of fell down. But yeah, I was ready for another winter. I put cables on the two extension logs sticking out on each side of the house just because I didn't know how it was going to hold up through the winter with snow on it since they were just extensions. I've been really busy um, beginning of fire season in Alaska so I'm working getting engines ready. I'll try to post more though. It's been almost three weeks. The northern lights out here is always spectacular. It's just nice and dark and no city lights, just all wilderness. And so when the northern lights come out, it's very beautiful. Thank you for viewing my video and please subscribe. Currently, I'm working as a firefighter for the state of Alaska. Just uh, working hard, staying in shape and building another tiny house to move into. Have a good day. Thank you.